are too dope. I have the knack. Yes, you do. And in a minute, we're gonna have the knack to open up this fancy little door up here. I mean, I mean, I have a knack CD. It's oh. My Sharon. Well, oh. a popular hit. Not gonna complain. Um, so I'm gonna take a moment to set up a thing that could very well be unpredictable at this point, but we're gonna try it. This game has combo attacks. But they're not like Chrono Trigger or Sui Code and combo attacks that are, you know, easy to pull off. Yeah, um, they're... Like, the, the formula for pulling them off is kind of... Uh, I, I don't know it. And I don't think Boner does either. Uh, but it, it's... I think it's agility-based, but whatever. But what basically what we're gonna do uh, is we're going to set up um, Honda Cast... Bah! We're gonna have... Um, bah! We're gonna have Chast cast Sue, and we're gonna have Alice cast Foy, which is our fire spell and grace just attack. Um, and that should give us um, a triple combo um, that maybe we'll try and pull off at some point in uh, this little place that we're about to go. But, uh, you know, without further ado and more dilly dallying, what do you say we head on in? Uh, well, oop. I guess we can't get this door open, so uh, oh. that's an episode, everybody. Thanks All for right. In. Uh, see you next week on. Batman, uh, fantasy. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I think. Oh, I wait, think, wait, wait. Wait, Grizz has got a knack. Hold on. Is that seriously like a recurring theme, though? There's like tricks to opening doors in Fantasy Star games. I don't remember it being used at any other point. Well, other than, you know, have, like, there's... having the knack in, in PSO. Yeah. It opened! Okay, this dungeon. It's kind of annoying. Uh, dank, dank dungeon. This dank, dank dungeon is really big. Uh, it's got a lot of wide open space that's pretty pointless. Uh, but there's a lot of worthwhile treasures going in. Um, and as I said last episode, the enemies here can paralyze you. And they hit really freaking hard for this point. Of the this is the first real gut check of... Uh, this is the first uh, you can party wipe. Hope you saved. Yeah, yeah. We did so, however, so uh, we're good. We're not going to party wipe. Uh, we're probably going to take quite of a beating. Uh, we might have to escapipe out if things we're get gonna too dire. We're going to party for day. <laughs> but anyway, um, you kind of want to just explore around a bit because there are some worthwhile treasures in here. Um, as you can see, we're already taking some pretty significant damage. Um, oh, so so not, only, not only is, like, the, the sweet grass, like, Factor heavily in this game, but now we're we got some, some fungal. Fungal, yeah. There's a toadstool sure. and blab. Yeah. Uh, actually, in Japan, that was called a peach. Really? No, not really. Okay. I'm making a joke. <laughs> it does look kind of like Princess Peach, I guess. I yeah. Okay. I see where you're going with it. See, I'm a little slow on the uptake sometimes, Boner. You gotta give me. You gotta give me. Uh, you gotta give me a break here. I'm getting old. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna try out that little attack and see if it works. And if it doesn't, oh well. Uh, so here we go. Oh dear. Uh, well, well, if you kill Han, it's certainly not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> this is Woo! what you're in for. This dungeon is off to a great start, I might say. Guess what? We're gonna have to just do some attacks here. Um, that yeah, worked we're gonna out. Have to we're gonna have to bail out too because we don't have uh, yeah, resurrection we, spells at this point. Yeah, there are no resurrection spells at this point, so we're gonna have we to. We don't have reverser. We have no reverser. But hey, Alice gotta level up, so it's all good. Uh, and she oh, learned she got Oh, snap. Well, that opens up new possibilities. Uh, well, let's get ourselves out of here without a random fight. Another, right. yep. Oh, good job. You did it. Yeah, Perfect. go me. All right. Regular Steve McQueen. So, uh, funny thing you may notice, like, if you have a party member that's dead, um, they just kind of float along with Yeah, you. they and don't th their move. Their walking animation is, is, um, yeah. Also, the same thing if they're paralyzed, but, um, Oh, I never noticed it that when they were paralyzed, but when they're paralyzed, it kind of makes sense. Except well, for the fact that they're moving. Well, when they're paralyzed, too, like, if you're walking around for enough time without getting into a random encounter, they'll eventually become unparalyzed, just walking around as normal on the world map. Oh, really? Never knew that. Look at this. This 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 educate this this let's play is educational for everybody. That's why I never use things like your Burrell, unless it's in battle and I have no chance of winning the battle without All right. being up. From the top. Me 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 me. So there's a good old treasure over here. I'm gonna have a look. It's a monomate. We'll probably use it at some point. So you basically told uh 
grandfather Durrell cigarettes that you were going in to get Elshline, at no point did he say, don't take any of the other shit down there. Yeah. So, you know, we're just using that, you know, as our jumping off point to taking all the other shit down there. And then, yeah, or, as you can see, like, the enemies here are really beefy. Like, way more beefy yeah, than Yeah, they, the they really do take... They are massive damage sponges. Or it would also be funny if, like, you came out and it's like, oh, well, you retrieved all this other crap that we were storing down there that we couldn't go down and get ourselves because there's a monster infestation, so, uh, thanks, Dick. <laughs> I think there literally is, like, some stuff all like that. All these fuckers. Empire. These fuckers. Right here. These so, guys will knock a... The, like, if these two get an attack off on uh, either Chaz or Han, that's another leaving the dungeon, so... I make it a point to try and vortex those guys. Yeah, uh, the Abe frogs. Yeah, the, the Abe They're really quite frog. honest. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's Abe frogs, like they're the um, they're R and O's cameraman in Game Center CX. <laughs> yeah, that's your references, was. baby. References. Uh, we got them. We got them. Yeah, so there's frog enemies in Fantasy Star 2 that are a lot more grotesque. Like, they have an attack where they, like, they they shoot blood out of their back and it hits all your party. There's, um, there's, like, a rabbit enemy that is sort of, like, mechanized and its guts are falling out. And it's, like, oh, trying, yeah. and it's trying to stuff its guts back in. Oh, my God, yeah. It's I know. like, oh, what my... the fuck, man? I was, like, like, playing that game again was just, like, I don't remember any of this shit. <laughs> I like the ones that are like the um, the carrier bugs or whatever. It's like you fight those normal, but then like in a later dungeon they've got that, but then they got like a fungal growth coming out of their head, like fucking The Last of Us. Yeah, it's just like the enemy design in that game is over the top gross, and I did not remember it being that gross. Oh my god, encounter rate, would you please? Yeah, if you play this game, you're gonna be. There we go. Encounters. All right, triple combo. That's your tribe blaster. Um, yep, that's a, that's a Sue, a Foy, and a Watt. Watt. There's a hundred Meseta for us, and but we're not going to be using that anymore because most likely all of our TP is going to go toward making sure everybody doesn't die uh, in uh, one go. TP. TP. Yeah, combos in this game aren't like really. Um... They're cool, but they're not really necessary. Yeah. There's one or two battles where they can, like, I don't know, kind of turn the tide in your favor, but, again, if you're not doing them within a macro, they're not just going to happen. Yeah. Like, like I, I can't think of many times... Good God, don't... Oh, not fun again. Don't do this to me. Okay. Biggest danger is out of the way, I think. She says, as Han eats it again. Yep, you're good. Okay, but like you said, man, this dungeon, this is the first, this is where the game stops playing around entirely. You know, probably what you could have done is unequipped um, Rune's um, wood cane before he left the party. Oh, and that, that'll you're right. Him. What would I have given him to replace it, though? Because don't you have to have something to replace it with? No, you, no, you can take um, items off of characters without replacing them with something else. I did not know that. Yeah. I was I was talking about it in an earlier. Yeah, video. you did. The I, game doesn't the game doesn't make it clear, but you can. There's some button you hit. It's either A or B when you're on their status. Um, when you're on their equip screen. Right. And then it, like it shows like little radio buttons up against the items, and then you can just select them and like hit C, and it takes the item off. They're just equipped with nothing in that slot. Wow. I should have done that. That would have. I level strats, people. See? Boner just proven he's got all the skills to pay the bills. So we finally made it past the first floor. floor <laughs> and you know we're gonna just keep trudging along. Uh, if you can gain a level in here, like it makes a huge difference. Like enemies just suddenly start doing like two and one damage to you. Yeah. <laughs> but until that point in time, it's going to be a bit of a slog. So is the name of this dungeon censored? <laughs> um, okay, that that that's one. That's an that's a joke about the inline censorship. That's a really side joke. Yeah, um, basically, like Fantasy Star Online's uh, censor Perfect. is a little hyperactive. So since the word basement has the word semen in it, it would censor the word semen.
And can't we just go through life with uncensored semen? I, I think so. I think that... I don't think that you're calling for anything that anybody else wouldn't call for. I mean, it's a light... It's a white liquid. I mean, why don't we censor mayonnaise while we're at there it? There you go. Now I don't want a sandwich with mayonnaise. I'm just kidding. I put mayonnaise. only Dukes though. It's not none of that. Are you, are you one of those weirdos shit. that eats mayonnaise on fries? No. Oh, what? Why would I? Ugh. Yeah, I know some <clears throat> people that do that, and it's just like, what? What are you doing? I've seen I've seen swirl. I've seen people like mix mayonnaise and ketchup and swirl around. I mean, like putting mayonnaise and ketchup on a burger. That's fine. Yeah. But like making a stew of. <laughs> Ketchup and mayonnaise to dip fries in. Ugh. It's like, I, it's kind of it's kind of an aioli, I guess. But uh, well, I, I will say I did try mixing mayonnaise and sriracha once. And that's good. That, that wasn't bad. That's really good. But then good. again, I'll, I I've also mixed um, sriracha and ketchup. Oh, weird. <laughs> it's it's not a bad um, sauce for dipping fish sticks. Hmm. We'll keep in mind next time I'm 12 next years old and eat fish sticks. Next time on Martha Stewart Fantasy Star Online. Oh my god, stop that! You're... Yeah. You're already infected with the cordyceps at this point. Yeah. Oh it's a matter Lord. of when you turn. This is, a, this is bad. <laughs> um, you do that... No, not so. You, um... Jeez. Yeah, it was like... That... Yeah, I guess he would need to heal Han because he would be... More likely to go first. Yeah. Let's just Based hope that. got killed. Oh no, that's bad. Oh you. Oh my god. Uh, the mescal pack that just up. <laughs> <laughs> that went about as perfectly as it could have. That was beautiful. We didn't want to just like crush this game. <laughs> oh, we, my we god. oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Grizz, Grizz does that a lot too. He's his hit rate. Is Best. Pretty ridiculous. Um, did I get the treasure down there already? I pretty sure I did. So did we? I don't. I don't know. I was, yeah, we did. I was too busy talking about mayonnaise and shit. So <laughs> let's try again. At least we don't have to go around looking for the treasures, though, right? Hey, that's just more money and experience for us. Wow! Like this dungeon has not kicked my ass this way in a like, long time. Like I got two, I got two dead guys who float around, and this this Jawa just gets in my way. And it's like, hey, I like your trash. Oh my god! All right, relaxing stay. Does that one have like a little ponytail going around his head? Like, we'll have a look. Like, 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 like look at his portrait. He actually, he does. What is that? I never noticed that. It's either a part of his little, hair or a weird tentacle growth. A little rat tail mullet. There you go. Alright, we should probably get that escapite back just to be on the safe side. Yeah, I oh mean, I mean, we we get an escapite in the dungeon. Yeah, but it's just in case there are For any... For insurance purposes. <laughs> but hey, look at that. We're already building up another stack of Meseta uh, to get things going again. Huh. <sighs> Oh my god. So we just, we just gotta go straight up here. That's all we gotta do. Real Dark Souls starts here. <laughs> Alright, straight up. No encounters, no encounters. Well, fuck you, game. How about that? Whose fault was that? Froggy! 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 You don't have enough memory in the memory card. <laughs> oh my god, stop hitting people. Miss more. That'd be good. Mm. All right, Grizz got to level up. Woo! I like how um, the different weapons you equip have. Yeah, like the animations look the same, but there's like a different little sprite effect flying off. Like, say, you know, Grizz's attack is purple here, or if um, Alice has the Titan Slashers. It's got like a green effect on yeah, uh, each exactly. one. Yeah, it's really cool. They, they did you, a lot of really cool attention to detail with things. Some like of the that. ones you get late game are just like, yeah, it's, it's not even just like a different color. It's like a whole different, you know. Type of uh, like this has a yeah like this has a better a neater effect yeah one of the first I think RPGs I can remember that that, that happened in a lot it happened some in Fantasy Star 2 as well uh, but oh my God. there's a paralyzed <laughs> okay I, I think it'll be okay yeah we've got an anti parole we're we're not doing too bad 
But if you just walk around, like, paralysis heals itself. I, I never knew that. But it's just like, with the uh, encounter rate in here, I'm not sure I want her to be para paralyzed at the start of a fight. Well, even in, even in combat, like, if you spend enough turns, they'll be no longer paralyzed. It's kind of like, also, if they're put to sleep. But again, is a I, don't, I don't want her out of commission at the start of a fight. Yeah, knowing the encounter rate in this game. Yeah, it's just like, no, that that can't happen right now. We've got our healing, uh, or we got our healing bitch pawn here to take care of people that need uh, a bit of loving. Um, I think you just need to live a little. You know, it's like, what, what's, what's a couple of party member deaths? <laughs> I do like how her hair like sways back and forth in her walking animation from yeah, the back. It's really cool. They, they did a lot of really cool, cool details looks. in this game. Yeah. Like you got rats running around. Um, All right, yeah. we got the drop on these guys. So look, it looks like it's all coming up Polly and Boner now. We got this. Chaz just got that level up, so he's going to be defensively a lot better here. Yeah, just... Chaz, with, Chaz still with the steel sword. I don't think he gets a better sword until you get past. Um, mm, I got well, the tight. Or oh, I didn't buy the Titan sword, did I? It, it, okay, there's a Titan sword. I'm is almost there sure there is. Okay. Wow. I think, right. Comprehensive. We are pro as hell. Hell yeah. Don't worry, boy. Wait till you're at the controls and you're the one. Oh, good God. Um, try a tri blaster and pray for it. I, I don't. Yeah, let's. let's why not? Oh, that would be amusing. Uh, it's probably just gonna get in. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh. There we go. All so, right. Sort of the way these things work is that the RNG at the beginning of the round, um, kind of dictates like at what um at what point each enemy or player character on the battlefield will take their turn. Um, so, it's all determined at the beginning of the battle, which has the effect that even if you kill an enemy and its turn was about to happen, it can interrupt your combo attack. and You just won't, you know, know why. Yeah. So, it's basically why you have to do it in a macro, and you kind of have to stack it to where... Um, your slowest character would go first if possible, unless your whole party was just a lot faster than all the enemies, or else it's not going to happen. Yeah. So, not not the most elegant thing. Uh, there's there's your John uh, $10,000 college word. Oh my god, don't do this to me, game. Uh. <sighs> so, a two-episode dungeon. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck this dungeon! This has I've never happened to me! This has not happened to me I don't think years. I've had that much trouble. I think, um... I don't know, something must be wrong with you. Fuck you, dog! <laughs> okay, so how about that escapite? I hear that's cool. Hans a dying. Oh my god, this is... Not, what?! It's not dying, because they couldn't fit a G in that screen. Yeah, <laughs> dying. It, it ain't nothing but a G thing. Oh my god. This dungeon, I swear. Am I gonna need a? Am I gonna need another glass of wine to finish? You're, this? Yeah, go ahead and get it. Go ahead and get it. <laughs> this is. This isn't. When, a, this I, when is... I come back, you'll you'll still be. <laughs> All right, you'll tune in next time where we hope to actually complete this dungeon that should not be this stupidly hard. <laughs> zip it up and zip it out. <laughs>